Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Markets on Thursday, the 2nd of March. Today, we'll be discussing early indications of US manufacturing activity and a speech by Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey. So the US manufacturing activity data was interesting in that it continues to indicate that the sector there is in something like a recession. That is, the, the data there indicates contraction in the manufacturing economy. But that contradicts with the jobs data we've seen over the last 12 months, which has been remarkable. Inflation data, which continues to indicate price pressures, and more timely measures of GDP, such as regional Fed forecasts for GDP for Q1, which continue to point to an exceptional quarter. So that's a communication challenge for the Federal Reserve to deal with later in the month at their scheduled meeting. Now on to UK matters and a speech by Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey at yesterday's Cost of Living Crisis Conference by the Brunswick Group. What was interesting there was that the Governor was rather non-committal on the direction of monetary policy at the next meeting, which is in about three weeks. He didn't really lay down a marker for a further interest rate increase. Recall that base rates are at 4%. Now, what this really means for us is that uh, there's a challenge here for the bank to deal with in that markets expect another interest rate hike. The governor so far has been non-committal. We know that some of his colleagues who have a vote at this committee are more explicit and do expect another increase at least at the March meeting. But the challenge, of course, for the UK is that we are likely to see substantial declines in inflation as we get through Easter. This is a positive and we know that there are going to be fur there's further momentum in this rolling over inflation because the energy price cap effects will really take hold after July and we should see a material fall in the costs for households. However, global price pressures are still rising. That comes through, for instance, in recent reads of UK food inflation, which was near 20%. So these are very difficult for UK monetary policy to deal with, but there are still challenges and the bank um, is going to have to perhaps increase rates by 25 basis points again, and continue to indicate that further interest rate increases are likely as and until the substantial declines in inflation take hold from about April and into May. Now, what do we think is next after that? Well, should the Bank of England inc increase interest rates in line with markets, then everything should be fine and sterling should remain quite strong. However, should they surprise by not hiking, then it might, it's likely that it might actually be sterling which takes the hit and sterling may depreciate somewhat versus currencies such as the euro and the dollar. So please do join us tomorrow when we'll update you again on inflation, particularly with regards to the eurozone. Thank you.